Hi, this is Andy from wholesale-help.com and welcome to my video series where to find dropshipping and wholesale suppliers. And this is the updated version from a video I made probably about four years ago now uh, where I described uh, the best places to find wholesale and drop shipping suppliers. Now that obviously that was four years ago and things have moved on since then and I think it's time for a, an updated series. Not only that I'm going to expand on the information I gave you last time and that's why it's now into three parts. We're going to look at different options and different places where you can find wholesale suppliers and I'm going to go into detail for each one. So in this part, in part one, we're going to look at directories, internet based directories and the pros and cons of using a directory. And obviously I'm going to uh, name a few sites that I recommend. Now in part two, we're going to look at how you can find wholesale suppliers on the street. Now this is a method that I've devised myself. I've used it several times and it works very well. I've not seen anyone else explaining this technique. So look out for this in part two. I think you'll find it really useful. And in part three, we're going to talk about importing, getting wholesale products from abroad and how it doesn't have to be a headache. It doesn't have to be unsafe and how you can actually do it without losing your money. So that's the three different selections. So in these three videos, I guarantee you will find a very decent wholesale supplier that you can use to make money online on eBay, on Amazon or on your own e-store. Now don't forget if you haven't already to subscribe to my channel so uh, you'll be notified when part 2 and part 3 is ready. Obviously if you uh, enjoy the video I'd appreciate it if you liked it as well. So without further ado let's get stuck into part 1 we're going to be talking about wholesale directory sites. Okay, so part one, uh, where to find wholesale and dropshipping suppliers updated. We're going to be talking about directory sites and I have a few different sites available to talk to you about today. Now, let's go over a few pluses and minuses. Obviously, the plus points are you're dealing with a number of wholesalers and dropshippers in one place, which means you don't have to go looking all over the internet to find something of use. It is there in, in one place and you have them and with reputable distributors, these with reputable directories, these sites will be vetted, they'll be checked as best they can be and you can rely on the sellers being to a certain extent safe and reliable. That doesn't mean you shouldn't do your checks and you shouldn't make sure that you're dealing with someone that is safe anyway, but what it does do is make life a lot easier right from the start. So that's obviously very useful. The second thing is most decent directories that are worth having do have some sort of membership fee. It's usually a one-off fee that isn't a huge amount of money. It might be a yearly fee in some cases or a one-off larger fee. What this does is actually a positive point as far as I am concerned because that keeps the what I call, it might be a, a British terminology, the tire kickers, where, um, the people that aren't really serious about what they're doing. It keeps them away because they're not prepared to pay any money. So as far as as I'm concerned that's a good thing it, it means that you're showing from your side you're showing that you're serious and you're willing to commit something to this deal and obviously if people are running a directory site there's quite a bit of administration involved quite a bit of work involved and quite frankly they deserve to get paid for their time it's a fair deal they're bringing you something that is a, a very very useful tool something that can make you a lot of money and giving them a small amount in return for the opportunity to make a lot of money is certainly a very fair trade-off so okay you could call it a minus point but I would also call it a plus point because it does keep only the serious online traders or people that are serious about starting online it keeps them in one place and keeps the tire kickers away from wasting everybody's time so directories in my opinion are a good thing I've used them in the past and I found some very useful contacts with them and that's why I'm recommending them in this first video if you're starting from scratch and you've never done anything at all I always say start with a directory it makes life easy if you get a good quality directory website 
then you will have good quality wholesale contacts in that site and you can carefully choose your supplier amongst various different ones you'll be able to compare different suppliers you'll be able to compare prices you can work through the different contacts on there and find just the right one for you so definitely I would say directories if you're if you're starting out from scratch definitely a good place if you've got a bit more experience there's still some great value to be found don't forget wholesale suppliers and drop shipping suppliers are there to make you money so it's a very important thing to take your time and find the right one you don't want to get months down the road only to find that they're letting you down and they're not being able to supply what you need or the customer service isn't very good you need to be sure that you've got the right one from the start so spend a bit of time I know it's tempting to race on into getting some stock and getting things listed on your website but it really does pay to do your groundwork first get the foundations of your business right and you'll build a stronger business right from the start it's important so now we've covered the basics let's actually go and look at a few of my selections so my first directory selection is simply wholesale.co.uk and as you can see this is a UK site. That does not mean that if you are from the US or Canada or a different part of Europe that this is not for you. They have an international section where there will be suppliers from further afield. Now having said that if you are from the UK this will be a better site for you. Now some of my other selections that I have later on will be US and Northern America based sites so you will have other opportunities if you live in other parts of the world it's not a problem. Don't forget this is the age of the internet and that means there are no barriers anymore. There's no reason why I can't do a deal with someone online in New York via email and via Skype. Barriers have opened up now. It's very easy to do international business from your home office. It makes life very easy. Okay, you do have postage to think of, but sometimes maybe the best deal is overseas. But that's fine because if it's the best deal, if the profit margins are right, you can usually afford to factor in the shipping over to your country. If you're dealing with multiple items, it may only work out a few cents per item. So don't discount it. You may find what you're looking for from another country. But obviously, it's always worth checking your own country first. It obviously makes life easier. So let's get into Simply Wholesale. This is a directory site. I happen to know uh, the owner of this site very well. He's a very nice guy. Uh, he runs a tight ship. It's a great website and he has some very decent suppliers. It's very well worthwhile becoming a member here. Now, uh, this is a paid membership uh, website. £37 for a whole year subscription to Simply Wholesale. Even better than that, when I told Richard that I was going to feature his website in my video, he said that wholesale help viewers could get a discount, which is very cool. So in the description box below, there's a link to the Simply Wholesale site. And if you click through there and use the coupon code that is below the link in the description box, you'll be able to get a year's membership for £27 instead of £37. So that is a great deal. As you can see, another benefit of directory sites is quite often they give you other resources and as you can see here uh, there's a large download section in the members area of ebooks and video guides which enable you to learn a bit more about the business of buying and selling online this is always a very useful thing over here you can see it's 150,000 wholesale product offers and there's a very large selection and over a thousand wholesale is listed as you can see here Dev, as we scroll down you can see the different product categories You've got everything from furniture, car accessories, child, baby products, clothing, Christmas items. If you want to go into the seasonal market, computer equipment, cosmetic, perfume and healthcare, DIY tools, you name it, there's, there's a section here. Uh, once you've done your niche research and you know what niche you want to sell in, it's very easy then to select a category, then to drill down and find your perfect supplier. So this is just really easy. You've also got blog posts down here. There's, uh, there's regular posts from guests about all aspects of selling online. So there we have it. The first website that I'm recommending is simply wholesale.co.uk. Focused at the UK market, but certainly there'll be something for anyone in the international market. So let's, uh, let's leave this one here and move on to another website which is based in the US.
So the next directory website I'm going to be recommended I recommending is salewho.com. Now you may have heard of these people. They have a very large brand awareness on the internet. And uh, if you haven't checked them out, I would say this is a very, very good place to start. Again, for, for people that are starting online, this is a fantastic resource. They are very established. They have a fantastic reputation. You can really rely on the quality of the wholesale contacts these people have uh, within their membership. They have their own community. They have a fantastic selection of resources, uh, videos, and eBooks that you can read and learn right from scratch from the whole startup point of view right the way through the ins and outs of buying and selling online. They also have a research department where you can actually um, do your niche research and find and drill down and find exactly the best place to be doing your business. Obviously you don't just stick a pin in a map and decide that's what you're going to do. You need to be a little bit smarter and you need to find exactly where your buyers are going to be and what they're looking for. So niche research is very important. I cover this in other videos and uh, here they have everything all in one place. You can do your niche research uh, or niche research if, uh, if that's how you want to say it in the US. It's, uh, it's a European word uh, so I say it how the Europeans would say it. Stands to reason. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> uh, you have a lot of uh, resources available to you. This is going to cost you more money, but in the long run, uh, you're going to get a lot more value from it. You get 60 days to try it free of where you can get your money back. So it's well worth signing up just to have a look and see if it's for you. There are so many things that you can make use of and you have a whole 60 days to make your mind up. The cost is $67. Now this is a one-off fee. This isn't an annual recurring fee. So to my mind, this is very, very good value for the actual resources that you get here. It's fantastic. As you can see, they have uh, specific eBay and Amazon resources, so you can get clued up on how to become a power seller, how to get there. Let's have a look at some of these. A beginner's guide to eBay. When is the right time to set up an eBay store? Advanced eBay training. So there's a whole lot of your stuff in here, and you get access to it straight away. Once you sign up to the 60-day trial, and you get straight into this. And just for signing up, you get these free guides as well. You just get so many useful things. It really is a, a start to finish one-stop shop for learning how to do business online. So this is my pick for Northern America and Europe. And I have one last selection that's a bit of a wild card. It's not really directory, but I think it's worth a mention. So here's my wildcard selection. It's not really a directory website, but I think it's a very good resource. So many people ask me about designer clothes and designer products and where to get hold of them. And you know what? The, the short answer is it's really, really difficult. Most things are fake. If you uh, find them online, there's a good chance they're fake and it's very difficult to, to know what is fake and what isn't because they use images from the real deal. So it's a very difficult area and I would be very careful. I always urge people to be very careful in this area. But this is a site where quite simply they have the genuine suppliers and all you have to do is give them some money and they will hand over the suppliers. And as far as I'm concerned, this is a very good deal. If you can get the suppliers for designer handbags, then it's almost a license to print money. These things are very difficult to get hold of. They're highly sought after. And if you can get into uh, one of these suppliers, then you really are good to go. So this is the site. It basically says what I've described. Uh, you can avoid the scammers, uh, avoid the things that the people that are selling fake items and what they actually have is the real thing. And these people also offer a 100% 60-day money-back guarantee. So you really have nothing to lose. You can sign up for this, take a look at the suppliers for yourself. And then if you're not happy with, uh, with what you receive, you just ask for your money back and that's what you get. The ordering is processed by ClickBank, which are an independent handler, which means it won't be this, these guys' decision. If you want a refund, if you ask for it, it automatically gets processed. As simple as that. You've even got a toll-free telephone number there where you can give Victor a call and speak to him about any questions you may have. You don't get that on the internet uh, so much these days. So it really is well worth having a look. All you need to do is click on this blue link here that says click here to order and receive immediate access. You can pay by PayPal or you can pay by American Express or Visa or, uh, or whatever cards you have. So it's, um, it's pretty easy to do and uh, I would uh, highly recommend this one.
that's it for directories that's my top three tips for now any of these websites will be very beneficial you can get on the ladder straight away for people that are just starting up their ideal because you have the extra resources which are very good value for money if you're paying just a one-off fee then it's great to get the additional resources so there we have it if you have any questions just post it in the comments underneath and i will reply to you as soon as i see it if you liked this video please hit the thumbs up button on the left hand side i would appreciate that if you haven't subscribed please do so there's a lot more videos like this coming up and if you're not a wholesale help member why don't you come over and join me at wholesale-help.com we've got member forums we've got free member guides interviews ebooks and much much more it's free to join up just pop over to wholesale-help and click here where it says free silver membership and you can join straight away Thanks very much for watching. I'm Andy Lawrence and I'll see you on part two where we're going to be talking about how to find wholesale supplies on the street.